hello everyone so in this video we are going to see how actually you can copy a data from a blob storage to the sql table okay so we have one of the requirement so suppose you have a data that is available into a storage account suppose this is your storage account and this is your input container in this input container you have a data that is available in a csv format okay now what actually we want to do we want to copy data from this storage account to the sql table suppose this is our sql table so this is our SQL table okay so we want to perform a copy activity and we want to transfer our data from a blob storage to the SQL table okay so how actually we can do and in real time also this kind of the problem we actually try to solve it where we have to transfer the CSV data and we have to store into a SQL table okay so that actually we are going to see in this particular video okay so let me open my Azure storage accounts okay so what actually i have done i have created my storage account that we have already seen how actually we have to create I go to the container if i will show you this is my input container and this is my file which is available okay if i will show you this file okay this is the employee1.csv file so here we have our data that is available in a employee id name salary and address so this is the data which is available okay now what we have to do we have to transfer the data into a sql table so i have created a sql table also okay so this is the structure i have created employee id name salary and address as of now if i will execute there is no data available you can see the query address zero okay there is no data which is available i need to log in one more time okay but as of now there is no data available okay uh, let me go to the resource how actually we have to log in uh, go to the query editor let me give password okay click on the okay i am allowing this ip clicking on the okay okay so i have one of the table that is a employee table i have created let me show you so this is the employee table I have created if I will show you select top one, 1000 rows and if I will try to execute as of now there is no data query is running you can see there is no data available now what we have to do I will go to the data factory studio I will go to the author I will try to create a pipeline ok click on the new pipeline click on the move and transfer click on the copy data okay so this is the copy data i'll go to the source i'll create a data set okay so this all the stuff we have already seen in our uh, previous video okay so what is our source source is nothing but a blob storage so i'll click on the blob storage my file is available in a csv format so i'll select the delimited text click on the continue i'll try to create a connection so i'll create a new link service with the blob storage name i'll try to give a azure subscription account i'll give the storage account okay and i will check the connection whether the connection established successfully or not okay so these are the steps we have to follow to create a link service okay so this we have already seen in our past video also let's wait it to be completed once the connection is successful means our link service is ready and we will be able to establish a connection ok now we have to create one more uh, link service and that is for the sql database that for that we will create a separate data set click on the create ok ok our link service is now ready now i will select the file path so what is my file path i will select that and this is the input location ok and here this is the particular file which i want to move into the sql table i'll select first row as a header and click on the ok ok now our source is ready if you want to preview a data click on the preview data you will be able to see this is the data we have employee id name salary and address in a source file now let's go to the sync now we have to select the data set ok so i'll click on the new data set what is our sync location sync location is nothing but the azure sql database so this is the sql database i'll select click on the continue click on the new link service we want to create as your SQL database this we are actually creating select your subscription select your server name 
select your database name so these are the thing we have to select it okay PSC database this is the database I select and after that the username and the password we will give okay okay see, and after that I try to select the test connection whether the connection is established successfully or not you can see the connection is failed because uh, I have given the wrong username okay so I'll try to again check the connection testing connection it is connection is successful I'll click on the create okay okay after that we have option to select the table so I'll select my table my table name is where actually I want to move data so I want to move into the employee table this we ha I have created it okay and click on the ok now my source is ready my sync is also ready what I will do I will click on the publish all and click on the publish and I will see whether the connection is established successfully or not whether it is any kind of the error you will get error here only okay as of now there is no error looks like okay after that we will try to run okay so now I will try to do a trigger click on the trigger now click on the ok now our pipeline will start running I will go to the monitor window I will try to refresh it you will get to see whatever the pipeline is running ok mm. you can see this is the pipeline which ran and it got succeed also now I will go to my POC database and now I will try to select whether data got copied or not now we should see a data now you can see in a SQL table we are able to see a data employee ID name salary and address and it got copied from our SQL from our blob storage so that is how actually we can create a data pipeline I hope you got idea thank you